Hey Gemini, welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree and today I'll be doing your Money, Wealth, Finance, Prosperity, Abundance reading for the month of March 2024. If this is your first time catching one of my readings, I do want to say welcome. I invite you to subscribe because I do these readings each and every month and I would love to share your money message with you. For the readings this month, I am using my Groovy Weight Tarot deck. I know this is a fan favorite. <laughs> I haven't used it in a while. Uh, I will clarify with my Radiant Rider Weight Tarot, then I will close out your reading Gemini with a, ooh, a brand new Oracle deck from my friend Kat. She just created a Oracle deck called Gem Healing, so we're going to be using that today. All right, Gemini, what do we have going on? All right, so it looks like a Looks like a divine union and a passion project is really going to pay off once we move into the month of March. All right, this Ace of Cups is jumping out at me. Um, I also see that Three of Pentacles, that last card there. Then you have reconnecting with someone from the past. Wow, this is really beautiful. All right, so March is going to be very um, positive emotion, <laughs> to you know, starting off. We also have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. That's a great card to see in the reverse because it means you're no longer feeling stuck, discouraged. As a matter of fact, you're feeling very encouraged and very hopeful about what is possible for you in the future, especially as it relates to your money. Now, we also have the Chariot card. The Chariot card in the reverse means, you know, you got to really plan and you got to hold on because things really could start taking off for you and it could... It could be a little bit of a shock. It could be a little bit overwhelming. You know, sometimes when you have several things kind of popping off at once, uh, it's overwhelming. It's distracting. Sometimes you can't keep up. That's what I see here. But this is good, though. It's good that things are happening, and you just got to find a way how you're going to balance and manage it all. So we talked about the Ace of Cups. Passion Project could be the start of a brand new union. Um, I'm not feeling like it's personal because this is a money reading. But I do feel like there is a brand new uh, something that sets your heart on file, fire. <laughs> it not only makes you erroneously happy, but it also uh, brings some new money in. More money than what you're expecting. So it could be a new job offer. It could be a partnership. It could be a business. could be anything. All right, so you're also going to reconnect with someone or something from your past. And it's going to be a beautiful union, or I should say reunion. Um, and again, I feel like there's going to be some money benefit for you in this reconnection or in this reunion. Maybe somebody pays you back money that they owe you. Maybe somebody gives you an idea about a new way to make some money. Uh, but there's definitely going to be a money element to this reconnection. So stay open, you know, stay um, receptive if you get contacted by someone from your past. Now that Three of Pentacles means you're being recognized for the work that you do. People are very impressed with what you do, how you do it, and they want to pay you for it. All right? So allow them to. <laughs> Don't say, oh, no, uh, I can't take your money. No, 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 no. You can take their money because you deserve their money. Now, I'm not saying to rip anybody off. Of course not. But what I am saying is that uh, if someone wants to compensate you for a job well done, then you need to receive it. All right, Gemini. All right, so we got a lot of people cards here. All right, Page of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, King of Wands. Okay. Now, Knight of Wands, King of Wands, this is work. This is people showing up in your work. Now, this is interesting because this Knight of Wands is telling me somebody is going away. And it's actually going to create a new um, dynamic in your work situation. The King of Wands talks about boss. Okay. Now, if I'm reading this correctly, and I'm trusting my intuition, uh, somebody's going away, and it looks like the boss is going to rely on you a lot more. Maybe giving you some additional responsibilities. Maybe having you do this person's job and your own. All right. But the thing is, is you're going to have to really set some boundaries here. Now, I know not everybody has a job, but this is what I'm feeling here. It's like somebody is leaving and then you have to pick up the slack. All right. So for a lot of you, this is going to be in the workplace. This is going to be at work. But 
I see this 10 of wands in the reverse and that tells me that you do put boundaries in place or you ask for some additional compensation. All right, because here they do give you an offer, but it's not enough. Queen of Pentacles, remember, she's all about investing and not taking any unnecessary risks. So you don't want to put yourself out just because somebody quit, somebody got fired, somebody walked away, whatever the case may be. Okay, so this is really interesting because the dynamics of your work situation are going to change and it's actually going to create an opportunity for you to make more money. But you're going to have to express, number one, what it is that you desire. Number two, what your boundaries are and your limitations. Because you don't have to just accept whatever somebody offers, right? You don't have to just go along. Um, the other thing is, is I feel like, like I said, they're going to make an offer to you, but it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be what you want. So you're going to have to say, hey, I'm willing to do X, Y, Z. I, I understand you guys are in a bind, whatever the case may be. Uh, but but we have to come to an agreement that I feel is fair, right? So you're not being, you know, combative. You're not arguing. Um, you're not being accusatory, nothing like that. But you do need to make sure you stand up for yourself. And the thing is, is what I'm picking up here, it looks like they will, they will agree to it. Or there will be some stipulations, you know, if, if they don't want to go with what you say. But I don't see you coming from a place where it's not fair. I don't see you coming from a place where you're being unreasonable. Okay. All right. So that, that takes place roughly in that second week of March. All right, Gemini. So, ooh. All right. What else is going on with my gem Geminis? Yeah, you got... All right, they are gonna they are gonna give you some more money, Gemini. It's not not what you want though. I mean, you know, it's it's okay, but it's not what you had expected, or what you were expect, or you know, or what you want it to be. But here, Ace of Pentacles, that's a brand new stream of income, and then here is the offer of more money, but it's not as much as you want. They do make you an offer. They do make this this situation easier, or somebody else makes this situation easier for you. You get some support, you get some help, you get some, uh, you know, someone who understands what you're doing. And then they say, hey, I can help. I can do this. I can do that. Now, we also have the justice card. Here is where I'm picking up. They don't want to. They don't want to give you more or maybe they're not in a position to give you more, but they do want to make it fair. So you, you, it looks like you may have to accept something else in lieu of more money. So maybe they give you more vacation time. Maybe they give you, um, you know, better, a better, better benefit package. Um, you know, something like that. Maybe they give you better retirement options, you know? So understand that sometimes it may not only be money when you're dealing with situations like this. See what other ways you can get compensated because that's what I'm picking up here. Okay, see what other ways they can compensate you if you're going to be doing more, taking on more responsibility, or investing more time. All right, so the Emperor card, like I said, this means that there's going to be some talks and not everybody's going to be on the same page, but that's okay. As, as long as you get what you want, who cares um, if people agree or not, right? And if you can't get the money, you're going to get something else. Like I said, you're either going to Negotiate for more vacation time, you know, something like that. So, um, and here, this emperor, whenever I see him in the reverse, it means that somebody is purposely being difficult, but that's okay. That's neither here nor there. It's just one of those things you have to have a heads up about, right? Because I've been in meetings like that in my job too, where, you know, things are going okay, but then you have that one person who makes things difficult you know, and doesn't want to, um, you know, doesn't want anybody to get ahead, doesn't want anybody to have anything. All right, let's see what else is showing up for Gemini. Oh my gosh, I just had a flashback of, <laughs> of my, my days uh, being in my corporate job and just the ridiculousness of the people I used to work with. But, all right, let's 
see how we're closing out the month of March, Gemini. All right, we got the Queen of Wands. All right, so this is some physical movement as it relates to your environment. Um, and this is going to be a surprise, right? So it could be changing locations, could be changing um, furniture, like it could be anything. So understand this is probably giving you just a heads up that at the end of March, there's going to be some changes in your physical space. We also have the Eight of Cups, walking away with no hesitation, no regrets. Now, I wouldn't be surprised, Gemini, if if they're, this situation here that we talked about earlier, if they're not being reasonable with you, you make a decision to say, hey, maybe this isn't the place for me to be. You start looking for some, maybe another job. You start sending out your resume, start making some phone calls, because that's what I see here. I'm not saying you're going to up and quit right away. But you are starting to consider other options for yourself, especially when it comes to making your money, right? So we also have the Four of Swords. That's you being proactive because that card's in the reverse. That's a really great card because it means that you're not just sitting by and allowing things to happen. No, you have a solid plan in place and you're willing to do what you need to do in order to get exactly what you want, to get the amount of money you want, to get the success you want, to get the abundance you want, all those things. Now we have the full card. This means you could be moving in a brand new direction, even though you don't understand or have any idea what that's going to look like. It could be a little bit scary. It could be a little bit fun and it could be a little bit or even a lot exciting. <laughs> so um, the full card always indicates a new journey, a new path. Sometimes we know what it entails. Sometimes we're, you know, we're willing to just roll with it and see what happens and take a chance. Now, as this relates to your money, I feel like this is not something, this is not something work related. This is something uh, in your personal life that could lead to an opportunity to make money. And for some of you, I'm feeling like this could be social media. Maybe some of you want to start a YouTube channel. Maybe some of you want to, you know, grow on TikTok and start working with brands and sponsorships and all those things. Finally, we do have the King of Cups. Um, that's a beautiful card because that is the card of emotional intelligence as well as emotional maturity. The King of Cups really represents stability as it relates to your emotions, as it relates to your own mental health and psychology. It means you're really in a good headspace and you have the clarity and you have the wisdom and you have the knowledge to make the best decisions for you at this time. Now, when you make decisions as it relates to your money with a clear head, it really gives you a sense of confidence and security that you will not get any other way. Okay, so understand that, you know, when we're scared, when we're worried, when we're anxious and we make decisions, financial decisions especially, uh, sometimes we can end up creating exactly the opposite of what we, what we want. And so we don't want to do that. So understand it's very important to get your head in the right space. Really make sure that your mindset is, is where it needs to be. And then operate from that perspective as opposed to operating from or making decisions from uh, the survival mode or desperate mode or feeling like, oh my gosh, I have to do something because of this. Because it never works. All right. So Gemini... I am really seeing a lot of, of not only movement, but shifting to a new stage as it relates to your money life. You're moving into a new phase of money making, and this is definitely something that indicates growth, right? You're not playing small anymore, and you're really prioritizing what needs to be made a priority. And this is going to pay off for you in more ways than one, not only in your financial life, but in your personal life as well. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead and close out your reading with a gem healing oracle card. This is a brand new oracle deck by my friend Kat. Uh, let's see, let's see. Ooh, Malachite. Malachite is one of my favorite crystals. I think it's beautiful. All right, this says card number 33. Ooh, that's a good number. Uh, wellness, increased energy, relief, recovery. All right, so these are some things we want to focus on and think about throughout the month of March. Wellness, 
health and wellness, energy, relief, recovery. And you know what, that's not only about the physical, it's also, I feel like that could also be relative to our financial health, right? Resting in our finances, putting the right energy behind our money, making sure that our money provides relief when we need it, and recovering money if we need to do that for whatever reason. Okay, so let me know your thoughts, Gemini. I want to thank you so much for spending this time with me, and uh, I can't wait to do it all again next month.